Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, another video today. We have ourselves the Civivi Bull Mastiff. I got the carbon fiber version here, the twill carbon fiber uh, with the Damascus blade but in a gray stainless, stainless steel liner with the, I guess it's carbon fiber in G10. But anyways, uh, we'll be opening it up, taking a peek at this guy. <clears throat> so I got this one through, um, What's the site called? Uh, White Mountain Knives. I normally get my stuff through Blade HQ, but um, I guess there was a coupon code on there. So you got 10% off these guys um, through White Mountain. So I'm um, very excited about getting this. It came very fast. I think it was like a two day USPS shipping, I think, but very happy to have that. Uh, with also VB Knives, comes with a carrying case here. It should have two stickers and a cloth. Yeah, our two stickers on our cloth. <clears throat> the manual here for everybody. I did a video earlier today on a on a Odium, so it's pretty much the same thing from the beginning. Pause if you guys want to see that. And it came lightly lubricated. It looks like this one is too. Or pretty Yeah, looks like this one is too. Yeah, let's let's check it out guys. So the carbon fiber so far off the bat looks pretty nice. Looks like it's a bit um, flat, I guess. Not textured. Nice. Yeah, it is. So it looks pretty nice. Um, I've been waiting on the Bull Mastiff, wanting to buy it, but I, since it came in like the, uh, the 8 CRMOV steel, I was kind of just waiting around to see if anything, because uh, I was bouncing between this or the uh, the Kizar Sheepdog, Kaiser Sheepdog. <clears throat> so let's start with this. Man, this Damascus is nice. It's like dark compared to the other the ones I have. And the pocket clip here is a silver pocket clip instead of a black one. The liner matches the pocket clip. Carbon fiber looks pretty good. Um, it reminds me a lot like my um, my other knife, uh, the Dam Design Oni. I'll, I'll put that up here right right after I uh, show you guys a little bit more about this one. So um, let's do some stuff before I forget. So let's weigh it first, or let's open it up first, actually. Oh, it feels really nice opening it up. Looks really nice. It's like a little butcher blade, guys. Open Damascus. Taking a peek, it's kind of my first time admiring it, taking a look at it. So it looks like there's a, you can barely see the edge on this. Where, sorry, my camera. But on the other side, you could see an edge a little more. Maybe that's uh, how they wanted it sharpened, I don't know. But the tip, you can kind of see more of. But closer to the bottom. I guess I'm seeing a little more of it now that I'm in the light. I guess I had it at a different angle. Yeah, I'm seeing it definitely. Yeah, it's even. I was going to be afraid for a second. Like, why is this not even? But yeah, um, looks really good. Very light in hand. Barely feel like I'm holding it. <clears throat> Let's do the measuring real quick for you guys. Where's my handy dandy measuring tape? So, uh, all mine. Through Blade HQ specs, it says 7.12 inches total length. And yep, it is. And we have ourselves a flat grind, cleaver style blade, Damascus, black Damascus, carbon fiber G10, 3.5 ounces, tip up carry, right hand only. No, it's not right hand only. You could end up switching in it to the other side. But if you do, your Civivi logo will be, your show side will be a Civivi less. Yeah, this G10 looks really nice, guys. Um, blade length here is it's about a almost a three inch cutting cutting length, and the handle is four and a quarter probably, depending on how you measure it. <clears throat> and it has a little hole for the uh, pot clip. So um, the G10 here reminds me of this guy here, my carbon fiber dam design odium. I mean, uh, excuse me, not Odium, Oni. I'm thinking about Odium, Odium right now. But you can see how it's a G10 mixture right there. 
So um, I guess it would've been pretty cool if uh, Civivi um, made like a, a coloring for it. That's why I guess that's why the box was labeled black G10, I guess. Yeah, on a black G10 handle right here. Yeah, but um, it would've been pretty cool if they were able to add some colors to it. I'm sure they would've been able to attract more buyers, I guess. But yeah, I bought this through White White Mountain Knives. Um, they sold out right after I purchased it, but these are available on Blade HQ right now. Very nice coming out and snapping, snapping out. Detent feels really good. You do a, can't do a, th a thumb flick. Yeah, feels good. And uh, let me compare this guy to Another carbon fiber Civivi right here in Damascus. Looks a little different coloring, but that's a black blade. This is a silver one. And here's a Damascus um, Praxis here from Civivi also. And you could see in their um, the blade design, I guess, how uh, how it's either etched in there or how their Damascus is. I've been reading mixed re reviews. But yeah, I have a... They look really nice. I'm really digging it. I really like this color, how they do the black. They I think they should have did that with the, this one, too, but they didn't. But <clears throat> who knows? Uh, they've been coming out with so many Elementum uh, variations that uh, it might eventually have in that. But, um, yeah, so this is a pretty smooth uh, G10 carbon fiber. It feels really nice, very light. Um, I forgot to weigh that for you guys. Let me get that scale here for you now. <clears throat> and we'll do a quick cut test. Here, let's see. So, 3.4 ounces. Online advertised as 3.5, so nice. A little lighter, doesn't hurt anybody. And I have some paper here for you guys. Then we can chop. Yeah, that's sharp. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, looks really nice, guys. But yeah, um, photos we posted up. It's going to be on M-R-I-I Toys. That's my Instagram, M-R-I-I Toys. Hope you guys liked the quick review. Um, sorry I didn't have more to talk about. But, yeah, uh, I guess I could add in here. The lockup looks pretty good. It's pretty deep in there. You can barely tell. And <clears throat> the blade, it's centered. Really digging this look. I guess I could do another quick measurement right here for you guys. <clears throat> Overall, probably a little bit more than an inch and a half wide in your pocket. And the way it's going to be in there, you know, this is going to be against the, the inner part of your pocket if you're right handing it. So it'll be pretty nice. If they had this at a light angle, I guess it would be pretty cool. Just it would be pretty, you barely have any noticeable stuff in your pocket. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm really liking this deep carry pocket clip right here on this one. Uh, compared to the <clears throat> Odium's pocket clip, you know, it's a deep carry. It's a, it's, you know, you're still going to have some of the Odium. I mean, yeah, some of the Odium sticking out, you know. Compared to this guy, you're barely going to have anything sticking out. But I'm really liking it. I love how they did the, uh, they kept it a silver or stainless steel liner uh, with the uh, pot clip, same thing. It could have been black, stainless steel. Both doesn't hurt. Timascus might have looked very nice, but it would have ran that blade up a lot more in pricing. But anyways, um, this is on Blade HQ for 85 bucks. I think I got it through White Mountain for like 75. But anyways, um, hope you guys like what you see here. Stay tuned for more stuff. Again, it's MRII Toys. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this, and um, stay tuned for more. Stay sharp, guys.